Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a leaked NSA report on Russian hacking. Now, before I dive into today's story, you might have noticed I haven't had videos for quite a few weeks. I forgot to put in my last video that I was traveling in Europe for WatchGuard for quite a few weeks to speak at various events, and I simply didn't have time to do videos. But I am now back, so we'll catch up with some of the news we missed, as well as new news. In any case, the news that came out today is a very interesting way to restart our daily videos. Basically, some leaked NSA documents seem to suggest even more evidence to Russian intelligence agencies trying to affect the U.S. election. On Monday, The Intercept released an article and a leaked NSA report that suggests that the National Security Agency has evidence that the Russian intelligence agency was actively trying to uh, affect the U.S. election days before the actual election happened. Now, the document doesn't contain any raw evidence supporting these allegations, but basically it outlines some Russian-based spear phishing campaigns against both uh, members of government-related organizations as well as one unnamed firm that deals with election software, specifically software used to identify registered voters. According to this document, hackers having to do with the Russian intelligence agency started this attack by using Gmail to target uh, members that worked for an unnamed election software company in Florida. Now, The Intercept says that they believe this uh, software firm is known as VR Systems. In any case, these alleged Russian hackers sent special spear phishing emails to around seven employees of this software firm. And these emails basically contained a shortened link that redirected to a fake Gmail page. And the whole idea was to get these particular victims to type in their credentials. So a very basic phishing attack designed to gain the credential of a victim. Now apparently this worked at least against one of the employees. And supposedly once these attackers got that employee's credentials, they were able to gain access to more information from the software company. They then used that information to send uh, emails to hundreds of uh, government employees working for various parts of the election system. And these emails were more like spear phishing emails and that they contained a Word document that seemed to be from this VR systems company. Now, of course, this Word document was booby trapped with some script and the script actually would spawn PowerShell and essentially would give attackers a Trojan on these government government workers' computers. In any case, this document seems to heavily allege that Russian intelligence agencies were behind these attacks on these election officials. Now, the leaked document doesn't really say how far these alleged hackers got in their campaign. It suggests that they gained the credential of at least one election software company employee, and it also suggests that malware may have gotten on some election officials' computers, but it doesn't say how this might have led to a Russian's manipulating the vote in any way. Now, it's important to note that the company that makes this voter registration software doesn't make the machines that actually tally the votes. So it's still very unlikely that Russian actors could have affected the vote directly. However, some suggest having access to voter registration systems could make it harder for people to vote on election day. A threat actor with access to such software may be able to say that certain voters weren't really registered. Of course, there's no evidence that that happened, and there's really no evidence of what these attackers were able to gain in this particular attack. In any case, it's just an interesting new twist on the whole uh, Russian U.S. election manipulation allegations, and it'd be interesting to see where it goes. As an aside, apparently U.S. authorities have already found the leaker of this document. According to the latest report, Reports, authorities have already arrested a government contractor working for Priebus International named Reality Lay Winner uh, because she apparently printed out this classified document and sent it to journalists. So why am I talking about this story? Well, first of all, it's just interesting information security related news. If it's true that nation states really are doing this sort of cyber espionage or using the internet and hacks to create propaganda or worse yet, affect democratic elections, that's a very big deal. 
However, there's also a lot we can learn from this particular report and its allegations. The one main takeaway from this report, which you can apply to all malware, including criminal malware in general, is the fact that spear phishing is often used as one of the main ways to get into your network. Whether it be nation state malware or the latest ransomware, it appears that spear phishing is a great way to get users to do something they shouldn't or to interact with documents or files that may be dangerous. So if you take anything away from this particular story, be sure to train your users about spear phishing. There are certainly technologies like some of the stuff in WatchGuard's Firebox appliance that can help protect you from some of the malware in these spear phishing attacks. That said, the solution to this problem isn't entirely technical. It has a human element. You should train your users to recognize some of the indicators of phishing and even spear phishing email. In any case, another interesting infosec story and one will continue to follow. That's it for today. Thank you for watching watching.